bit of an experimental today. I'm using my iPhone 7 to video this rather than my Nikon. So we'll see how it goes because I should be using this on my trip to Copenhagen in Denmark, which is the plan. This is what I want to talk to you about today, the cameras I'll be taking and what I'll be doing out there. I managed to purchase this the other day. It's the first fantastic. It's called a La Sardina. So it's from the Lomography Company and it's uh, supposed to be a sardine tin but it takes 35 millimeter film and it's really quirky Ooh, take off the lens cap it's actually got quite a nice lens in there wide angle of course and when you look through the viewfinder it's wide angle i'm quite excited to use that so as i'll be using this quirky little camera i'll only be using color film in it because obviously the whole point is that the quirky little cameras plastic cameras have weird lenses so you get colour throws and stuff so one of the films that I've purchased that I'm going to be using is uh, bubble film bubble gum um, this is lomography film and it's made by Kono so we'll see how we get on with that I'm looking forward to that and that's uh, 35 mil I'm not actually sure what ISO it is oh 200 ISO so that's fine the weather stays like this sitting here in the garden in the middle of March it's a beautiful warm no end of March it's a beautiful warm day and the other film I'm going to try is My Heart bought this from China I had to wait about six weeks for it to arrive it's uh, 200 ISO again 27 exposure and it's got quite quirky colours I hear and then I've got my own film that I created myself which is a red scale film which is basically a film that's uh, turned around the other way so that the when the, the light goes through the film um, you pick up the reds, so it's back to front. Okay, this is a little camera I took with me, the little La Sardina, it's a lovely camera made of metal. Um, this is a film I took, double film, which was Bubblegum 200, and I have to say I was immensely disappointed with the film. Very muddy, this was taken inside the apartment I was staying in. As you can see, it was quite light inside, but the film didn't cope and look. This was a bright sunny day, there's no colours, there's no contrast, very disappointing. And here we are, another picture taken in bright sunlight as you can see. Fortunately to say it wasn't the camera, it was the film. And here coming up is the Yes There's Me, just to prove I was there taking the pictures. Now the next film I used was My Heart, which is the Chinese film. It turned out actually that this particular role was a Fuji film that had just been respawned on their own spools. And they see me, so you know it's me. Um, but I actually, the film turned out quite well. I was quite pleased with it. I took this in the palace grounds. You can start to see the quirkiness of the lens on the film. I think it worked out rather well. The colors are good. As you can see, picks up the colors quite well. I thought this was interesting with that uh, orange screen across the bridge um, you can see the distance how quirky it is how out of focus things are on the right hand side there that's a quirk of the lens however having this beautiful camera meant that I was able to do um, some double exposures and this one as you can see I was rather pleased with I think they all came out rather well I do like double exposure if you have the opportunity Again, there's lots of things you can photograph in Copenhagen. It's well worth a visit if you've never been a beautiful, beautiful city in a beautiful country with beautiful people. Obviously, there's millions of motorbike uh, cyclists, cyclists in Copenhagen. Careful you don't get run over by them. And I think you'll find that this picture in the playground gives you the good idea of how quirky the lens is. If you look to the right and in the distance on the right, the next film I used was my own R series film, which is Red Scale, which is where the film is put into the uh, camera backwards. So the light's coming through the plastic uh, rather than through the emulsion. So you pick up the red that's in it and you can see I wasn't particularly enamored by it. I don't think it was worth all the effort, to be honest. I shan't be bothering again. Don't know what you think. Have a comment. If you've enjoyed my uh, video, then please, uh, subscribe ring the bell find out what other things i'm up to and lots of loads of different things and thank you for watching